Get ready for a topsy-turvy tale filled with unexpected twists. Learn cool idioms and vocabulary while unraveling the mystery. So, without further delay, let's embark on our narrative journey. The whirring of the zoo gate's opening sent a thrill through ten-year-old Maya. Today was her annual visit with her grandpa, and this year, they had a special surprise, tickets to the brand new Upside Down exhibit. What's that, Grandpa? Maya bounced with curiosity. Grandpa chuckled, his bushy eyebrows wiggling. It's a secret, kiddo. But let's just say, the animals might be seeing things. A little differently today. Intrigued, Maya followed her grandpa through the bustling zoo. The familiar sights and sounds of monkeys chattering and elephants trumpeting filled the air. But something felt a little off. The monkeys, usually swinging from branch to branch, were hanging limply by their tails, gazing upside down at the ground. The elephants, instead of munching on hay, were using their trunks to try and balance precariously on top of their massive legs. Whoa, that is weird! Maya exclaimed. Suddenly, a booming voice echoed through the zoo. Attention all zoo patrons! Due to a malfunction in our new habitat enrichment program, gravity seems to be a bit wonky in the upside-down exhibit. Fear not, it's perfectly safe. But things might be a little topsy-turvy. Maya's eyes widened. This wasn't just a secret exhibit. It was an accidental anti-gravity zone. Grandpa winked. Looks like we're in for an adventure, Maya. They entered the exhibit, and the sight before them was pandemonium. Penguins were waddling on their bellies, using their flippers like tiny legs. Sloths, known for their sluggishness, were zooming upside down through the trees, their long claws, leaving deep gashes in the bark. A family of giraffes, with their long necks, now dangling uselessly below them, looked utterly confused. This is bananas, Maya giggled. Suddenly, a mischievous glint appeared in her grandpa's eyes. He grabbed a handful of peanuts, and tossed them high in the air. Hey, Grandpa, what are you doing? Maya questioned. Winging it, he replied with a sly grin. To their surprise, a flock of brightly colored parrots swooped down, not for the peanuts, but to use them as tiny weights to keep their feet grounded. Maya and Grandpa erupted in laughter. The zookeepers, in a mad scramble to fix the malfunction, were trying to convince the animals to cooperate. It was a hilarious scene, monkeys swinging from their tails, trying to lasso the zookeepers with their long arms, and a grumpy panda who simply refused to budge from his upside-down position, munching on bamboo shoots with a bored expression. Finally, with a series of beeps and bops, the malfunction was fixed. Gravity returned to normal, and the zoo erupted in cheers. The animals, disoriented but unharmed, slowly righted themselves. The sloths, now back to their usual pace, hung upside down, with a look of utter exhaustion. The giraffes, their long necks reaching for the leaves once again, let out a series of happy moves. As they left the zoo, Maya held Grandpa's hand, a wide grin on her face. Upside down day at the zoo was the best ever. Remember, Maya, Grandpa said, winking, sometimes it's good to see things from a different perspective, even if it's a little nutty. Congratulations on completing Upside Down Day at the Zoo. Your dedication to learning English is truly commendable. Let's revisit the key words and phrases from our story to ensure they stick. A quick refresher to boost your English prowess. Number one, whirring, the sound of something rapidly spinning or moving. 
Number two, thrill, a sudden feeling of excitement and pleasure. Number three, annual, occurring once every year. Number four, special surprise, a delightfully unexpected event or gift. Number five, upside down exhibit, a creative name for an exhibit where normal conditions are reversed. Number six, bounced, to move energetically, often showing excitement. Number seven, chuckled, laughed quietly or to oneself. Number eight, bushy eyebrows wiggling, expressive movement of thick eyebrows, indicating amusement or intrigue. Number nine, secret, something that is kept or meant to be kept unknown or unseen by others. Number ten, intrigued, having one's interest or curiosity aroused. Number eleven, bustling, full of energetic and noisy activity. Number twelve, chattering, the high-pitched sounds made by some animals or people speaking rapidly and continuously. Number 13, trumpeting, to make a loud sound, similar to that of an elephant. Number 14, swinging, to move back and forth or from side to side while suspended or on an axis. Number 15, limply, lacking stiffness or firmness, weakly. Number 16, gazing, looking steadily and intently, especially in admiration, surprise, or thought. Number 17, munching, to chew food audibly or with a steady working of the jaws. Number 18, balance precariously, to maintain an unstable position where falling is a distinct possibility. Number 19, exclaimed, to cry out or speak suddenly and vehemently, especially in surprise, anger, or pain. Number 20, booming voice, a loud, deep, and resonant sound of speaking. Number 21, patrons, customers or visitors, especially regulars, to a place. Number 22, malfunction, a failure to function in a normal or satisfactory manner. Number 23, enrichment program, activities designed to enhance the well-being and happiness of animals in captivity. Number 24, wonky, not straight, shaky or unsteady. Number 25, topsy-turvy, with the top where the bottom should be, upside down. Number 26, accidental anti-gravity zone, an unplanned area where the effects of gravity are nullified or reversed. Number 27, adventure, an unusual and exciting, typically hazardous, experience or activity. Number 28, pandemonium, wild and noisy disorder or confusion, uproar. Number 29, waddling, to walk with short steps and a swaying motion. Number 30, sluggishness, moving slowly, lacking energy or alertness. Number 31, zooming, moving quickly, especially with a humming or buzzing sound. Number 32, Gashes, long, deep cuts or wounds. Number 33, uselessly, without purpose or effectiveness. Number 34, giggled, laughed lightly and repeatedly in a silly way from amusement or nervousness. Number 35, mischievous glint, a playful look in the eyes, suggesting a desire to have fun, often in a slightly naughty way. Number 36, grabbed, to take hold of something suddenly. Number 37, tossed to throw something lightly or casually. Number 38, sly grin, a cunningly pleased smile. Number 39, flock, a group of birds. Number 40, erupted in laughter, to suddenly start laughing loudly. Number 41, mad scramble, a hurried and disorderly rush or effort to achieve something. Number 42, convince, persuade someone to do something. Number 43, lasso, to catch with a long rope with a noose at one end. Number 44, beeps and bops, electronic noises, often indicating some form of alert or operation. Number 45, erupted in cheers, a sudden loud expression of approval or joy. Number 46, utter exhaustion, complete or total tiredness. Number 47, wide grin, a broad smile showing pleasure. Number 48, perspective, a particular attitude towards or way of regarding something, a point of view. Number 49, nutty, slightly crazy or silly. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.